there, welcome to my curls. My name is Renee and this is where I love to talk about my gray hair. Look at all this y'all and my curly hair. Mainly, I talk about being gray, going gray. I'm 48 years old. I am, I guess this is 16 months into my gray hair transition. So yeah, that's what I got right now, y'all. I wanted to share with you 10 things that happened to me when I stopped coloring my hair. 10 things that I never expected, never even thought about, never even crossed my mind would happen when I decided to go gray. And I'm going to share those with you in this video today. So. The first thing that I want to share with you was almost immediate. When I made the decision to go gray, it happened really fast. I hated coloring my hair. I hated everything about it. It made my head itch. I hated that my scalp or my, my forehead was stained with the dye for the next day. I, just, I hated everything about it. So when I made the decision to stop coloring my hair, I made it really fast. I didn't put a lot of thought into it. And I didn't really think about what was going to happen if I had gray hair. My main thought was, I just need to stop coloring my hair because I hate this. I would have a standing appointment with my hairdresser, Betsy. Every three to four weeks, I was scheduled out in her book. And so when I made the decision to stop coloring my hair, when I realized I am not bound to the schedule, I am not bound to getting my hair colored, it was a huge sense of relief and it never occurred to me how freeing that would actually be. And I actually did a whole video about it. I'll link it right up here. But when I realized I did not have to show up every three to four weeks and sit in the chair for two hours at a time, it was a huge relief. And then on top of that, the excitement because I knew I was never going to have to have that itchy scalp again. I was never going to have to have the line on my forehead from the hair dye and not be able to go anywhere the next day because I was so embarrassed But you, because you can see that I got my hair dyed. I never had to do it again. Y'all, That <laughs> I know that's silly, but that was so freeing and so exciting. That is the number one thing that happened when I decided to stop coloring my hair. The second thing that happened was I decided to give myself permission to just be me. I knew that I was not going to look fantastic in the beginning. I was going to have this outgrowth. People were going to look at me. People were going to talk about me. I was going to feel weird. So I just in the beginning gave myself permission to not care what others thought. Just permission to kind of be me. And what happened along the way when I did that, it kind of overflowed into so many other things in my life. Just the one little thing, telling myself not to care what people thought about my hair, translated into so many other categories of my life that it has been wonderful. The third thing that happened when I stopped coloring my hair was I knew going into this, I was going to look bad for some time. There was going to be some really bad hair days and some really bad photographs. I did not realize how long it was going to take to get through that initial transition period. I thought the worst part of it was going to be honestly like the first month or two. When that gray first starts coming out, I thought that was going to be the worst part. And then once the gray got a little growth on it, I'm like, well, it, you know, it'll be fine. That is what I thought. That turned out for me not to be the case. The, the very beginning, the first month or two was the easy part. It was month three and four and five and six when I had this much outgrowth and I, and I couldn't do anything with it. I couldn't change my part to disguise it. I just, it, it just there it was. And so there are some really bad photographs of me in that time when there was just nothing I could do. During the time when I was in that horrible stage, it was springtime. And so my daughter had a birthday 
there are her prom pictures of me and I'm gonna show you all one right here like I think this is one of the worst photographs of me with this huge skunk line this horrible demarcation line and there's nothing I could do about it. It just, it was what it was. So I guess the third thing on my list is just not expecting that the bad hair days would last for such an extended period of time. So the fourth thing that I discovered when I stopped coloring my hair was I started to experiment with my makeup. My eyeshadow, that is. I would always wear grays, browns, um, like dark purples. Well, now that I've stopped coloring my hair and I have all this gray around my face, I love pink, I love coral, I love copper, I love shimmery eyeshadow. And I did a whole video about it, y'all. I showed you how I put my makeup on, the colors that I use. I love some color on my cheeks and on my lips, and I'll link that video right up there. But it allowed, my gray hair has allowed me to really broaden the eyeshadow colors that I wear and play with. So I, I really am enjoying that part of it. The fifth thing that happened, once I started to get a little bit of length, a little bit of outgrowth of the gray and start chopping off some of this colored hair, I realized that my hair overall was so much healthier. I had gotten into a vicious cycle with my colored hair of coloring my hair, which damaged my hair. It made it really, really dry. And so because the color damaged my hair, then my curls weren't great. I had a lot of curls around my face that didn't want to curl up as tight as the rest of my head because they were so damaged. So then when I washed and dried my hair, I would have to dry my hair to the point, like 100% dry, so there was a lot of heat on it. And then, believe it or not, I would actually take a curling iron and force curls into some of the straightened, damaged pieces around my face, which in turn damaged that hair more. So it was a, a never-ending cycle that I could not get out of. And the last five years that I colored my hair, I really could tell this cycle was taking a horrible toll on my hair, but there was no way out. And so once I stopped coloring my hair, my hair got healthier. I no longer have to use the curling iron on my hair. I only dry my hair with the diffuser about 75% dry. I let it air dry the rest of the way and I'm drying it on low heat. I'm not using high heat like I did when I had colored hair. So my hair is so much healthier. Let, let me show y'all around. So much healthier, so much softer. Oh my gosh, when I was coloring my hair, my hair was like straw. Just in general, my hair is so much healthier and happier, which means I don't have to spend as much time styling it. I just kind of go with whatever comes out. I'm not using all that heat and I'm not using near as much product. So bonus, that has been great. Next thing that has happened, which is so unexpected, it doesn't matter where I go or what I'm doing or honestly what I look like or how my hair is fixed. People stop and comment on my hair. Total strangers will talk to me about my hair, ask questions about my hair, or just make comments in passing about my hair. I was in the grocery store Sunday morning, in fact. I had my hair up in a ponytail. I was in my sweats and I had two separate people, men, just walking by say, hey, I love your hair. They weren't trying to hit on me. They weren't trying to pick me up. They were just commenting, commenting on my hair. One guy was probably 40 and another guy was 80. But still, two random strangers comment about my hair. I took Brecken prom dress shopping last weekend and a mother and daughter, and the daughter, which was probably you know, 16, 17 years old, came up to me and said, we have got to tell you, we have been looking at you and we're talking about your hair and we want you to know we, we love your hair. And the 16 year old said, your hair is so cool, which I think is so cool that younger generations think gray hair is cool 
and hopefully when they get older, they will not color their hair. Hmm. I hope my daughters never color their hair. But that's a whole nother video, right? I'm going to make a note of that. <laughs> video, video topic, video alert upcoming. But anyway, I just thought it was really cool that the mom and the daughter both thought my hair was cool and interesting for their own reasons and told me about it. So it's just a common thread. Anywhere I go, people tell me that they love my hair or they have some comment about my hair, which I never, ever expected. The next thing that I'm gonna call it unexpected, but somehow deep down, I knew something wasn't right. And let me explain. The last couple of years that I colored my hair, when I looked at myself in the mirror, I did not feel like myself. I didn't look like myself, I didn't feel like myself, and I could not figure out why. I've talked about this in other videos. You all can find them, I'll link some up here. But I just could not put my finger on why I didn't feel right or look right. I just, something was off. Now that I have gray hair, I know exactly what the problem was. Because I have gotten older, I'm 48, my complexion has naturally changed. My skin tone, my complexion has just evolved as I have gotten older. And so when I was coloring my hair and putting that dark fake color on my hair, it was in stark contrast to my complexion. It didn't matter what makeup I wore, what colors I tried to put on, nothing seemed right because the one key element was my complexion. My hair did not match my complexion. And now that I have gray hair, I can see that my hair matches my complexion. My gray hair has made me look so much better. My complexion and my hair are actually in sync. They match each other, they belong together, and I look so much better. Now, I posted a picture on Instagram the other day, and if you all are not following me on Instagram, you should, because I post pretty much daily, just kind of behind the scenes about my life and a lot of information about my hair that I don't share on YouTube. But I posted a picture on my Instagram page. It was a side-by-side -side picture one year ago and then a current picture. I was wearing the exact same sweater and it was startling. And not, I mean, yes, it was startling because my hair had gotten so much grayer, but what was so unexpected was the difference in my complexion and how much better I looked with the gray hair. I received more comments on that post on Instagram than I have ever received on any other post that I have put on Instagram. And seeing your take on how much better I looked with the gray hair has sparked a video idea. I'm going to do a whole video on this topic, but I wanted to put it on the list because never did I think that I would look better with the gray hair than I did with my colored hair because I colored my hair for all those years because I thought it made me look good and in reality it made me look pretty bad. The next thing, y'all, so unexpected. The more gray that came out, the more inner confidence that I gained. Like, how crazy is that? Somehow, I, I really don't know how to explain it, I have just become more and more confident. I can tell that I'm happy with myself, I am just happier in general, and my confidence grows as my gray hair grows. It's crazy. Having gray hair and going through this transition has really allowed me to prove to myself that I am such a strong woman, I can do anything. If I can get through this process, which I thought was gonna be a horrible process, it has turned out to be a fantastic, fabulous process that I have thoroughly enjoyed other than the first four to six months, which I told you about. But I have just gained this confidence that I cannot explain to you. And the confidence actually allowed me to start this YouTube channel, to come out and talk to you all and to women literally around the world who are going gray, deciding to go gray, 
on the fence, what should they do? It has just given me the confidence to come out and be myself and talk to you all about it. I would never have done that before. I didn't have the confidence to think that people wanted to look at me or talk to me or be interested in anything that I had to say. I, I truly didn't. And so the gray hair has really just allowed me to blossom into a different person. So this inner confidence has allowed me to brand myself on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and I launched my own website, welcometomycurls.com. Y'all, you all have given me the confidence to do this. The gray hair has given me the confidence to do this. On the website, I design and sell t-shirts about having gray hair. Look how cute that is. Silver hair speaks louder than words. Life is better when you go gray. Life is short, make every gray hair count. Y'all, I truly believe in what I'm doing. I truly believe that going gray has been one of the best decisions of my life. And I love wearing all my tees. I love sending them around the world to all of you ladies who tell me how much you love them and it never fails. If I have on one of these tees, somebody comments on it. I get cool tea or love your tea or hey, where'd you get that tea? So. Check out the website, welcome to mycurls.com and get yourself a tea. But the last thing in my list, and I guess this is the biggest thing, the number 10 on my list, but really it probably should have been number one, was regret. I regret that I did not do this about four years ago. Had I known then what I know now, I would have stopped coloring my hair about four or five years ago. If I had just known all of the positive and wonderful things that would happen to me when I stopped coloring my hair, I would have done it a long time ago. I'm constantly talking to women about gray hair and I have never met a woman who said she regretted going gray. I wish I had known that, y'all, because I would just be, I would be fully gray at this point. I wouldn't have any of these dyed ends to still contend with but I think that is the biggest lesson learned. So ladies, I hope you've enjoyed my video. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up and hit that little bell so that you never miss any of my videos because y'all, I love to talk about gray hair. Gray hair, curly hair, I'll see you later.